Hey all, and welcome back. Today, we're going to create a virtual machine, Kali Linux, in fact. This is one that I've been looking to try out for quite some time. So we'll, we'll have a look at this one and see what it's like. So this is the latest version of Kali, which is 22 something. We'll install it in a VM now. So this is using Proxmox, my latest favorite toy so let's create the virtual machine Kali and it's there you go 22 one now for this we'll change it to VMware compatible yep 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 we'll change it to a SATA drive and we'll give it 80 gig yeah why not Let's give it four cores, 4096. Nice, decent amount of memory. And start it after it's created. So if you're unaware, Kali Linux is the version of Linux that is used for ethical hacking. Ethical hacking is a subject all to itself, and I'm not going to go into it today. Suffice to say that it allows you to do some penetration testing and some rather naughty stuff as well, which we're not going to talk about. Hack sensibly. So it's all set up. Let's click on the console. There you go. It's ready to install. We'll go graphical install. Let it boot into its graphical install. There we go. English language. We're in the United Kingdom. British English. Now, a lot of this is going to take a little bit of time. You can also run Kali off of a live CD if you don't want it permanently installed. If, uh, if security is your thing and you don't want to leave any traces, am I really saying that? Yeah, that will do. No domain name. And we'll create a user account. Let's see what happens. We'll use the entire disk. And if... Uh, Security is your thing. You can use an encrypted LVM. Not going to bother. We're just going to do a uh, disk and set up LVM. And again, depends on your thing. Um, you can have separate petitions. I think I probably will actually. Let's go with all that. And we want to write the changes. Yep, write the changes to disk using ext4. So I'll skip past all this bit for you because this bit will take some time. Okay, and here we are at the DE selection. What are we going to go for? Should we just install it all and see what happens? I don't like XFCE. If we go with KDE Plasma. Yeah. Just downloading the files. This will be all the software. Going to pause for a minute and come back when it's finished. Welcome back. So here we go. It's finished installing the packages. Let's just finish off the setup. It's installing Grub. Hopefully, this won't take too much longer now. I'll skip through it. There we go. And it's finished. I'm not going to review Kali in this video. I will at some point in the near future. Because I've been looking forward to using Kali and I, I just want to go through what it does and doesn't do. If it eventually boots up. Let's stop the VM. Actually, stop it a bit. Looks like a bit of a failure. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping to have a look at it. We're using um, KDE. Doesn't look like it's going to do anything. So there we go. We'll uh, we'll return to that in another video. It's uh, a bit of a failure. We'll see what happens in the next one. All right, guys. Um, if you found this video enjoyable, give it a thumbs up and check out one of my other videos. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.